Hey guys, what's up? It's Mac. And today I'm going to be talking about my job at Staples. So that's, you know, why I'm dressed so classy and why you're so attracted to me in this not nerdy at all polo. So, as some of you know, I graduated college recently and I've been looking for jobs. And in my process of looking for jobs, I've taken on a part-time job at Staples as a certified tech sales associate. So that's cool. Um, and when I interviewed, I was like, hmm, maybe I want to kind of come out because I don't know anyone here. So maybe it'd be like chill, you know, I could come and be like, yeah, my name's Mac and I'm trans and I use he, him, his pronouns. Cool. Let's do that. And as you can see, my name tag happens to say Mac. So you may be like, Mac, you came out, that's great! Life isn't always great, kids. So when I was interviewing, my resume said my birth name, right? And she knew that I was a girl. And so the boss lady was using she, her, hers pronouns for me. Which, you know, was expected because I didn't come out to her. She had no reason not to use those pronouns because that's what she saw and that's what she assigned to me. So before I went to the interview, I was like, well, I don't want to come out fully because I don't feel comfortable. Like, ah, I don't know if I'm going to come out to the world yet, but maybe if I tell them that like my nickname is Mac, that'll be cool. You know, people have nicknames all the time that aren't like their birth name. And so when she greeted me, she's like, hey, birth name, how are you? And I said, hey, I actually go by Mac. She's like, okay, cool, cool. And so when I got hired, my name tag says Mac. Everyone there calls me Mac. They kind of call me like dude and man, like what's up, bro? Because, you know, I look kind of bro-ish, kind of queer-ish, and that's how they treat me, which is great. I love people calling me bro, dude, man. It's awesome. So when the customers come into the store and I'm like, oh, hi, welcome to Staples. How are you? Most of the time I'm read as female. And so they say, oh, hi, ma'am. I'm looking for the tablets. Can you help me with those? I'm like, sure. Yes. And then sometimes I'm read as male. For instance, the other day, this lady came in with like her three-year-old daughter and they were checking out. And then like a minute later, they come back and the mom says like, my daughter took this like coloring book and she's returning it. Then she turns to her daughter and says, you tell him that you are sorry and you won't steal again. And she's like, I'm sorry, sir, that I took the book, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, Ah! And a lot of times if I'm standing like with another guy, um, somebody will come up and be like, can one of you two gentlemen help me with, you know, the computers over here? And I'm like, yes, I, I'll help you. Yeah, what's up? Yeah, I got you. So that's cool. I like being read as male. So everyone knows me as Mac, my fellow employees and everything. On the schedule though, where it has everyone's times for the week, my name is birth name. And so people were looking and they're like, Mac, where's your name on the schedule? And I'm like, um, oh, it's, it's that one. They're like, that's your name? Wait, what? And I was like, yeah, I just don't go by it. I hate it. It's an ugly name. And they're like, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. It's a beautiful name. You should go by it. And I'm like, no, no, I hate it. I go by Mac. Like, and they're like, oh, okay, cool. And they continue to call me Mac, which is great. Love it. Awesome. Additionally, a lot of customers ask me like, Oh, Mac, that's a cool name. Like, what's your real name? And a lot of the times I say, Mac's my real name. And most of the time they're like, oh, that's cool. Like, I would have thought your name was like McKenna or Mackenzie or something. And I'm just like, nope, that's not my name. It's, it's not McKenna. It's, it's Mac. It's Mac. So anyways, I'm in this whole situation where I'm kind of halfway out. Like, the name is different, but... The pronouns are just not different. So I would have to fully come out to have the pronouns be different. And so something kind of interesting that happened today is I was over in the copy and print center helping out because they were shorthanded. And so this dude walks up and I'm helping him with some copying stuff. And he's like, oh, thank you, ma'am. I, I mean, sir. I'm sorry, what pronouns do you use? And there was this other fellow employee kind of standing like five feet from me and I'm just like, oh, oh, you know, whatever, whatever's fine. And he was like, oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. And I was just like, 
He knows, he knows. But it was really cool because he was being really respectful, like asking me like, what pronouns do you use? I can tell you are a tran. It's clear to me that you're a train. So anyways, this is just a really interesting situation that I'm in at Staples. Halfway out with the name, halfway not out with the pronouns. So what I would have to do is fully come out with the pronouns and then I'd be a fully out tran. So maybe that'll happen soon. I feel like it's kind of a big step to at least come out at work as Mac. Um, the name. The nickname. So none of my friends or family members or even my therapist know that I'm going by Mac at work. So I'm interested to see if one of my friends will happen to pop into Staples and it'd be awkward because they'd be like, birth name? What is that? What is What's, what's that right there? So if you guys liked this video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and comment down below. Also, if you liked it, maybe share this video and my channel with your friends. And if you haven't followed me on social media, check those links out in the description. Help a brother out. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Today I wanted to talk about some more trans childhood signs that looking back on now makes sense. And I did a video like this over a year ago.